A base consisting of 16.2k stone, 6,000 wood, and 2,500 metal. This base is for the new component system. This will probably be the best base any solo, duo, or trio player can use on a vanilla server. Let's go ahead and get into the base. Uh, just by the front, you're greeted by an air, a uh, window defense, and just your front door. We'll go ahead and get into your front door now. This is going to be your airlock. You're going to have your floor grill here. You could actually look down in case you're in there if you want to see it. Through this door, just another airlock. And in this door, another airlock. Let's go ahead and get into the main compartment here. In your main compartment, you're going to be greeted by your centralized crafting bench, a small box, two sleeping bags, and a ladder, along with all your doors. Through this door, you'll be greeted by four furnaces, one small box, one campfire, one sleeping bag, and behind this door you have two large chests. Probably keep your ores and all your tools in there. It's a bit uh, tricky to get in and out of this door. You want to just jump on top of that box and then come in here. Behind this door will be your cupboard and four more large boxes. One way to get up is by using your crafting bench, just jumping on top of it like I just did that. And jumping into any of these, but when you do get the ladder, you're probably going to want to use those. But let's go ahead and jump to this room. This room, you're going to be greeted by. Oh, I got pushed out. Door doesn't like me, I guess. You're going to be greeted by. There we go. Four large chests and a. Let's go ahead and clip through here. Don't mind. And a research bench. Through this door, when you open it, you'll be greeted by just a couple shooting ports, four large boxes, and two more sleeping bags. And in this door, you'll be greeted by four more large chests. And through the last and final door, you'll be greeted by an airlock and the shooting port that we observed earlier. Get good shots down through the window with your box to stand on. And the way to get up to the roof is either by having this furnace here. It's a little bit tricky to get up though, or the ladder. And this will be your roof. You can either not have roof access, or you can just have roof access and maybe put some windows up here. But yep, that's pretty much the whole base tour, and let's go ahead and get into the base build. So for the base build, you're going to find a somewhat flat area. This seems good enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to do this. I'm going to put, I'm going to build the whole base, and then I'm going to put all the stuff inside of it, like the deployables. So yep, you're going to put three squares here. I don't know why the heck I clipped through that. That was really weird. Let's go ahead and get out of there. You're going to sheet metal all your foundations. Next, you're going to have your triangles off of here. It's just some honeycombing with an extra triangle here. Two triangles here, a square, and a triangle here, and an extra triangle here. Let's go ahead and shimmy all of these up. Just like so. Next, we're going to go ahead and have the rest of our walls, our exterior walls for now. And you're going to place your door like this, like this, and like this. And you're going to have this floor actually has to be placed first. As you can see, you actually can't place it if you this wall is here. So yeah, you need to have that, and then have this, and this floor. And that's how you do it. Next, what you're going to do is have your floor frame here, or this can just be a floor. For the purpose of the base, we're just going to have the floor frame there, so we can put our floor grill in later. And then just fill in the rest of these squares, where there will not be, where there will be floors. Oh, Nike says hello. What a spicy meme. All right, you're going to go ahead and stone up the rest of these walls here, just like so. And you're going to sheet metal all the roofs. It's fucking hell. All right, there we go. Okay, just like so. I'm pretty sure that's all the roofs. Oh, one more. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this floor frame in here, just like so. Let's go ahead and get our walls, just like this. Stone, you actually need to place this wall and then have these three doors, otherwise it'll block it. Let's go ahead and have the rest of our walls like this. I'm gonna wait to place this door, because it's really tricky, tricky to place all that stuff after you've done that. So let's go ahead and get the door here, and our door frame, wall frame, sorry, like this. Next, let's go ahead and no-clip up. And let's get the rest of these walls down. There's another special thing with the floors over here. You're actually going to place a wall frame, then a door frame like this, and you're going to place two floors. And there's a trick to it. And these will be the only floors you will sheet metal from this point on. The rest, you're just going to stone up the rest of these walls that we placed. These 
can be walls or this can be windows. I'll go ahead and show you the windows. That's how I did in the base door. So I might as well build it like that. Just like this. So windows. Your other one will be here. Along with your walls just like so. Stone all of these up. Also, you will not get stuck in here. It's impossible to get stuck in this hole. So, just a little something. You're going to have your wall facing that direction. No door there. And you have your other door like this. And your other wall like that. Next, we're going to have that facing that direction. And another wall frame right there. We already placed it. Sweet. That makes our job easier. So, we can get our next walls like so. And have our other doorway here. Now let's get the rest of the floor, so that should go ahead and no-clip up to the top. I wonder why it wouldn't let us no-clip through there. No floor will be here, so let's go ahead and put floors in the rest of the spots. And, just kidding, we're going to stone these up. Because nobody's going to be picking up anyway, so it saves a bit of metal and metals. Always nice to save, since you'll be using it throughout the wipe, unlike stone, which you're not going to be using throughout the wipe, probably, unless you decide to build another base. Let's go ahead and I'm going to set these two stone just so it saves me a bit of time. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get back down into the base. Almost forgot. We probably want some stairs here. You probably only need these wood or stone, so I guess let's just have them in stone for now. Next, let's get into the entrance. We're going to get our doors. Where's our doors? There's our doors. Let's go ahead and get that. You're going to have that opening inward, and this one's going to be opening outward. And the same with all of them are going to be opening outward. So that if you leave this one open, they can't get in, and so on and so forth. There we go. Next, we're going to have our cupboard in this back corner. Sorry if it's a bit dark. Just have it as back. doesn't matter where you place it, as long as it's in the back corner. Not in the back corner, just the back wall. There we go. Next, you're going to have your shelves. And just like so. Let's go ahead and get our doorway and have our wall like that. Next we're going to have our crafting bench in this corner here along with our small boxes if we can get it over there. There we go. And then we're going to get our furnaces in this corner. One, two, three, four. With our small box here. If you get this in the right position it should be fluid movement. Sweet. There we go. Let's get our campfire and our boxes. Make sure you place the first blocks and then the low wall, because you won't be able to place the, uh, the first small, the first large box if you get that first. So yep, let's go ahead and get our double door here. Come on, I have that opening inwards, and have the campfire there along with the other door being opening that direction. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our light up here. It's very useful. I'll go ahead and show you. It's uh, it's probably the best thing in the space aesthetically wise, so you get light all throughout here. Uh, let's go and get our shelves for our next chest room. Box, 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 and box. There we go. And then our doorway like that. Let's go and get the other room here. Make sure you have these uh, door frame placed, wall frame, sorry, placed first. Let's go and get that. And that as far to the left as possible. Come on. There we go. And then let's get our research bench back in this corner with our double wall and double door, like so. There we go. And let's get our doorway. You can put a double doorway or a wall frame. Probably best to have a wall frame since I feel it's a really bit tricky to kind of get through here. So there you go. But if you don't have the blueprint for it, you can obviously just do the single door since it's a bit harder to get the uh, double door blueprint. Being it costs 250 scrap past the point. Let's go ahead and get this done. Get our four boxes in this room. And then our two sleeping bags. Almost forgot the sleeping bags actually. Oopsies. Two sleeping bags can go in the middle, even three if you want to. And let's get our other one in here. That's our five sleeping bags. Alright, this room is done except for these shutters. Let's go ahead and get those on. Make sure you have them on the right side. There we go, and let's get our last door here. There we are. 
open this like that, and then jump inside. And we've got our other door opening this direction, so it's clean fluid movement. It's got our last chest like so, with the shutters and our furnace here. Come on, baby. There we go. It's a bit hard to get this jump, just so you know. Come on, there we go. And we can have our door, like so. And if I'm sure, that's pretty much the entire base build, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, questions, concerns in the comment section. I will try to get them as soon as possible. I don't know why it says 3,000 stone. It's probably because that one's connected as well. Okay, it doesn't actually cost 3,000 stone. Just, just 16,000. Okay. But uh, yeah, leave your comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below, and I'll try to get them as soon as possible. Remember to follow me on Twitter to see my video updates, and follow me on Twitch to see me stream. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.